Now, as they say, for something completely different. Wind farms <laughs> have long been viewed as a greener way of producing electricity, but there is, of course, one major drawback. Yes, they're only useful when the wind's blowing. No wind means no power. Ah, yes, but a local engineer has come up with an idea that may change all that, as Brady Harron reports. Everyone's familiar with the benefits of wind power, but there's one big problem. When the wind's not blowing, you can't generate power. Now, you can't store electricity, but a Nottingham engineer's come up with a way of storing the wind. And this is it. Well, a model of it, anyway. The idea here is that you would have tubes incorporated into the centre of blades within the wind turbine, which are hollow anyway, and that within these tubes you will see some free-running masses that are capable of travelling under the influence of gravity. So as the tube drops below the horizontal, a mass will fall down it, and as one rises towards the vertical, a mass will fall down that. And that mass is capable of being a piston and driving in front of it air. And it will compress that air. We will have times when the amount of electricity being generated by the wind is more than the total demand for the whole country. There will be times when we have more electricity than we even want. And then you have to store it or waste it. The compressed air, and we're talking about seriously large amounts of it, would be stored in giant energy bags under the sea. Then, when you need the power... You let it expand. And the air does almost everything for you. It expands naturally back down to atmospheric pressure and it pushes a generator around and you generate electricity from that. Storing compressed air isn't new, but Seamus's method of producing it is. He's already in talks about more advanced prototypes and testing it for real. Brady Harron, East Midlands Today. Brilliant. And still with weather, later in the oh. programme, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.